Hello, my name is Joanne Cornell and I'm from A Rose's Creations and I'm here to do a video on clones. What to do with them once you get them. Um, some people are afraid of clones because they just don't know what the heck to do with them. So you can take them and you can put them in dirt or you can take them and you can put them in water and do hydroponics. Uh, and this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to end up taking and doing an aerated uh, tote and spray nozzle and everything else i had one set up i'm gonna see what i can do about resurrecting that because i am gonna have more plants hopefully soon um because somebody gave me some seeds and i'm gonna try to do them up i'm sorry if i'm a little bit off track but my body is killing me right now and uh so i have trigeminal neuralgia i have fibromyalgia and then i have the stupid um uh, tennis elbow and so I'm in extreme pain I've been taking medications but I took less today just so I could do this video and I'm probably gonna take a little bit more now later um, this is a ragu can so the net pots in so what I needed first of all is a container to put them in so I'm using a ragu can, the jars ragu jars are working fine because excellent because the net pot goes in there and so does in the pod but I also told you a cheaper way to do it and so the cheaper way to do it is to do a K cup take the K cup pop holes in the bottom after you're done using it take the plat the aluminum foil off the top after you're done using it wash it out and then you'll be able to put the plant inside there and then you can take these pods or even put some aluminum foil on the top in order to hold it up if you want to make it even cheaper or you can get the little pads that I have the little pads that I have have little has a line going down and it has a little cross over here and so that's where the plant goes so what you're gonna need water in order to wash it unless it's already still clean what I'm gonna be doing is transplanting them from these pots into water hydroponics because they don't look that they're doing too good and this one's actually picking up and so I like it. I forgot to bring the chemical out that I was using, the, the actual nutrients that I'm using. Um, so I will post that onto the side. It's Photosynthesis Plus is the name of it. It's organic and all natural so um, that's going to be good. Water, honey, and uh, isopropyl alcohol on a spoon before I put the honey in, even though I probably don't have to. But I try to do everything so that there's no problems, hopefully later. I bought this bowl of water out because I don't have the sink accessible. And seeing as I just planted these a couple of days ago, I'm just going to wash them out here like this because they're not going to have any roots growing in them yet at all. I'm not even going to bother doing a fresh cut. I don't think I need to. Um, do a fresh cut. I'm just because it's been in the water or the thing all the time. If I see it's not picking up again the next couple of days, what I'll end up doing is doing a fresh cut again and see what happens. But the little nodes here, these are hopefully we'll end up having some roots grow out of them too. So that's why I'm going to keep these nodes and put these down on the tin to the water also. So wash I got it washed put the honey on it put it in the pod like so just below the node that I want to have in the water so I want to have that node in the water this one I won't that one I will in the pod and then I forgot to bring the water out that I need to do with the nutrients so I'm gonna hurry up and do that but I'm gonna do the second one again just so I can show you I'm sure you're gonna know how to put water in there it's not gonna be that hard uh, I don't think I need to have to show you that on the tutorial and then honey make sure you get it all over it take it put it in the pod put it in a net pot. I did cut hole on the bottom because I don't like to have it. it. Normally it looks like this on the bottom too, but 
but I want the roots to grow and then I don't want to have to cut the roots in order to be able to put it in something else if I want to put it in something else. So um, these are probably going to go in dirt later. See, this one doesn't even actually fit right in here. Um, but so this is a paste can. So the paste can, Picante, uh, Picante I think it is, right? Paste, paste, as you can see right there, that's salsa. So that one makes it so that this fits in there perfectly without a net pot or anything. So that's even better. Um, but for now, I'm going to use that. And then I am going to pour the water in there. And I go into the kitchen again. I'm going to put the water in there. And then that'll take care of that. So hopefully. And then I'm also going to take these. Rinse these out really quick put these in here so it keeps the plastic bag because I'm gonna put a plastic bag over this for moisture I'm gonna put the, this in here so it keeps the plaque plastic it keeps the plastic off of this in order to be able to get the moisture like I said I'm gonna do hydroponics only because it's not looking too good in the dirt so it's not liking it and so I'm not liking it and I want to really want to save these um, Two are going to be my girlfriends and one are going to be mine. So I want to make sure I try to get all three to do its thing. Um, have a good day. Blessed be. Like, share, and uh, follow me on Rose's Creations and Healing Facebook page. And uh, thank you very much. And hope to see you soon. And I will be getting Patreon. Um, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for it. But I wanna try to do some kind of uh, thing where you can donate to me in order to help me out to be able to keep this going because like everybody pretty much knows is I don't really have an income. Um, I have a small income but it's from selling a little bit of jewelry here and there and seeing as I can't even make the jewelry anymore. That's pretty much gonna be uh, a kibosh until I can actually get better and my hand isn't hurting right now my hand is now I'm is hurting so bad I can't do it so I'm gonna keep this one out here for now I'm gonna bring these two in put water on them and then I will bring them back out for a little bit longer because it's warm out here so let the Sun do its thing and hopefully they will pick up this is what the one looks like but that's been with water all the time I, I don't know if you probably in the sun Here, so let me do this one this one's in the water since the get-go and then those are the two that were in the dirt and so they're not doing that good and I don't like it so I'm a little bit nervous so I want to change it up uh, I will keep you up on the progress and have a great day bye